Today's video is going to be a really fun one. It's trying out color correcting products from Maybelline. And if I'm being honest with you guys, I don't really color correct, but I'm really excited to give it a go. I know the general gist of what is used for what area, and Maybelline gives an awesome description on the packages to tell you what area to use it on, but I thought it'd be fun to do this together on camera, an experiment. But uh, yeah, let's give it a go. To begin any makeup look, I always love to prime my face and I always love to use a hydrating primer. So I'm going to start with the Master Prime Hydrating Primer. Yeah, that feels really nice on the skin. So now I wanted to give this one a go and this is the Master Prime Anti Redness Primer. And it has neutralizing pigments. And I thought this one would be perfect as well because I do have a little bit of redness here. So let's see how this works on my little cheeks. Does it look like... Oh, my bauble has fallen out. Sorry about that. I don't know how that happened. Let's give this guy a go. I'm going to use this one just generally all over my face because I'll go in with the green color corrector um, in my reddest spots. So now I've got these little sticks here which are the color correcting sticks and this is what I'm excited to play with. Unused first impressions. Let's do this together. Okay, so it's a twisted top. I've got a lot of redness in my nose. Now I know you're supposed to use it sparingly so I've probably already gone overboard so I'm just going to take what I have and blend it in with my finger. You know what I'm going to do for fun? I'm just going to apply all of it and then blend it all out at the end. So I'm going to go back in here. This is fun. I never do this. Here's the red. This one's scary but I'm keen to see how this works. So this would be great for anyone that has really dark under eye circles. Again, I'm using a lot, but we're just experimenting. Oh my god, I look crazy. <laughs> this is so fun. The yellow for dullness, and that'll just brighten it up. It's kind of like, you know, those brightening banana concealers and things. This one I'm going to do like on the center portions of my face, just to brighten those areas up and make them look a little bit more alive. And then what I'll do is once I've blended all this in, I'm going to take this under my eyes and brighten that as well. The green is definitely knocking out the red for sure. I recommend doing the color correcting underneath your foundation because that way you'll put your foundation over the top of it and it will have already cancelled everything out and create a really even base for yourself so um, that's why I'm doing it underneath my foundation okay here goes for the red eyes and if you do do like me and you take too much you can just like as you're blending it in just take it off the back of your hand I love experimenting with makeup. I literally look like I'm in a horror film right now. <laughs> I look like I'm doing a Halloween tutorial. <sighs> well, learn from my mistakes, kids. Use way less than what I've used. Okay, so I'm actually, usually I would wipe a little bit more of that off if I think I've made a mistake, but I'm actually really curious to see how well it does at cancelling out the darkness under my eyes. Um, so I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to go in with my foundation. In with one of my favourites, the Dream Cushion Foundation and it's in the shade 40 Fawn. I'm just taking a little synthetic brush just to put it in the inner corner because I've got my eyelash extensions, it's kind of, kind of hard to get in there. So this is how we're looking after all the colour correcting has been blended in by, with foundation and you can see that the foundation shade isn't quite right for my body. I feel like it might be one or two shades too light so I am just going to go in with V, V Face Stick Duo Stick and I'm just going to bronze up a little bit on the outer perimeters just to bring a bit more warmth back into the face. 
And so now that all the color correcting has been done and I feel like my face has a really nice base to it, I'm actually going to go in with the yellow one again and I'm going to brighten up my under eyes. There can be a lot of steps to color correcting or there can be like the teeniest, tiniest things. So for me, what I've done is I've gone in and I've really just, wa I just wanted to show you guys really the extent of what these products can do. But of course, you can just take little tiny minimal amounts of them as well and just do little dots. You'll get a really subtle result. So you can do a really no makeup makeup look with this stuff. But I just thought seeing as I have the one video to show you guys how to do it, I may as well have gone all out with it. I would then go in and set my face with some powder, go over with some bronzer and some highlighter and things like that, but today the video is going to be too long. I already know I've rambled on so much, so I'm going to end the video here. It was fun to see it all come together and actually ended out looking really flawless, which I'm super happy with. Hello! It is me, except me on a different day. It is because, in fact, I actually finished off the video as was. Everything worked perfectly, beautifully said goodbye and then today I was rummaging through my makeup collection and I found this guy. This is another one of the color correctors but this one is in the shade Apricot and this my friends would definitely be more suited to me and my skin tone. So I'm going to leave all the footage that I filmed from the other day in the video just because I think it's fun to experiment with colours and makeup. However, the red shade that I did use would definitely be better suited towards darker skin tones. So if you do find that you have a similar skin tone to me or um, maybe you don't have quite as much darkness under your eyes, you could opt for the apricot shade. I didn't even realise this was in the collection. I found it while I was scrummaging through for one of my concealers and I was like... It makes sense. So I thought today I would actually just use this guy um, underneath my eyes with a little bit of concealer and show you how it works. I'm just going to put a little bit, I'm going to zoom you guys in. I'm just going to put a little dot here and a little dot here. And I'm just going to begin blending that in with my finger. See the crazy thing about these colour correctors are that they are so incredibly pigmented. Like. You only need the smallest amount, and I definitely learned that the other day. <laughs> now I'm going to take my concealer, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind. And now the concealer is more just to add a little bit of coverage and make everything neutral again. Can you see how well that's working? And so that is how I would use it if I was to use it sparingly. Obviously I was having a bit of fun with it the other day, but I just wanted to give you guys an example of something that would be a little bit more wearable as well. So I hope that you guys get the general gist of colour correctors, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun filming it, and um, yeah, colour correctors are definitely something that is new to me, and I will continue to practice on. So yes, make sure you guys subscribe to the Makeup Loft for new videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!